The government has assured the country that the situation arising out of the delayed monsoon is not at all worrisome. Agriculture Minister Sharad Pawar has said the production of rain-fed rice crop is unlikely to be affected as monsoon is expected to better from next week. Pawar said 31% shortfall in rainfall so far has impacted sowing of coarse cereals like maize, bajra and jowar. He however added that the overall situation of rice is not a cause of worry. Pawar said Agriculture Ministry is ready with a contingency plan for agriculture. The government has admitted that there has been a deficient rainfall this year and this has impacted the sowing of some coarse cereals so far. But it is hopeful that delay in monsoon will not have much impact on sowing of paddy. The agriculture minister said that monsoon will be better next week. Ms. Department also said it is for rainfall is expected that there will be better rainfall in next week onwards. Up to 2nd of July, country as a whole, the deficiency is by minus 31%. Normal area up to this week is 3 lakh and 3 million 93, 3.93 million hectares. Monsoon rain so far in this year has been 31% below average. Pawar also tried to assure the country that there is no shortage of food stock. In fact, the current stock is more than 2.5 times of the required buffer stock. Government is ready to supply whatever the quantity which states are asking. B. Government will also at appropriate time will take decision to enter in open market through, uh, uh, through our scheme. So availability of food grain, our position is quite comfortable. No dearth of food grain. Cabinet might take some decision about the export of wheat to certain countries. Monsoon rains are crucial for the country's agriculture as only 40% cultivable area is irrigated. Besides higher agri-incomes on account of good crop, push up economic growth as rural income grows. The country had produced a record 252 million tons of food grain last crop year. With Bureau Inputs, Nishan Saurabh's report, DT News. And a lingering heat wave coupled with humid conditions continue to affect normal life in the northern region. Two persons lost their lives in Sirsa district of Haryana due to scorching sun. Temperature in Delhi hovered around 40 degrees Celsius with high humidity levels. Day temperatures hovered between 1 to 6 degrees above normal in Punjab and Haryana where high humidity levels added to the woes of the people. Hisar was hottest place in the region with the mercury settling at 45 degrees Celsius. After yesterday's 48 8.6 degrees Celsius, Churu in Rajasthan again recorded a high of 28 degrees Celsius. Churu was followed by Sri Ganganagar at 47.8 degrees. In Bikaner, Barmer, Jodhpur and Jaipur, the temperature hovered around 45 degrees. Parts of western UP are experiencing extremely hot and sultry weather. The Met Department has assured that monsoon will revive in next two or three days. And we all know that the monsoon plays an important role in India's economy as well, from agriculture to power and even the markets are impacted by it. A good monsoon is very important for our economy. Its performance has a direct impact on India's agriculture sector. Although agriculture makes up only about 15% of India's economy, more than 50% of the population depends on it for livelihood. Monsoon has an impact on inflationary trends as well. If farm output increases, it helps in bringing down inflation. India's food inflation rose to 10.66% in May from 10.18% in April. There is hope that with good monsoon, inflation can be brought under control and hence the government can take steps to bring down fiscal deficit and farm subsidies. We don't expect an adverse impact. Uh, you know, July and August is more critical in terms of distribution of rainfall uh, to look at agricultural yield and productivity. Uh, and also the government has taken very proactive measures by announcing potential contingency plans a good monsoon also helps increase the purchasing power of individuals, especially in the rural sector. It ups demand in various sectors and particularly FMCG and auto sectors are known to show strong growth after the rain god's blessings. 
The stock markets are good indicators of the mood of the people and the performance of the monsoon impacts the sentiment on the Dalal Street. Data from 1991 onwards reveals that Sensex has given negative returns in FY93, FY01 and FY02 when monsoon was below normal. Monsoon is like a booster pump to the Indian economy. A good monsoon boosts the Indian economy tremendously while a bad one puts a gloomy shadow in the economy. And with current slow progress of the monsoon, one can only hope for the best, prepare for the worst. Sudhan Sibal, DD News, New Delhi.